Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm out here shooting my SCAR. One of the things that I've noticed about the SCAR while I've owned it for the last few years is that it just seems rather short. When you're shouldering the rifle, the forward grip area is relatively close to the body. It makes it for very quick handling. It's great for CQB, things like that. However, it just feels kind of short. Now, if you're a three-gun shooter or somebody that goes to modern fighting rifle courses, one of the things that's very popular right now is taking your support hand and using it far forward to drive the barrel back and forth on the rifle to maintain better muzzle control and to move from target to target for quick target engagement. It's hard to do with the SCAR given how short the forend is on it. That's why I want to show you a new product from Midwest Industries this afternoon that lengthens this rail by six inches. Let's take a look at that product. This is the new Midwest Industry SCAR rail. As you can see, it adds six inches of length to the rail to the existing rifle, and the rails line up perfectly with the rails on the side, the rail across the top, and the rail across the bottom. It's relatively easy to install. We'll talk more about that here in a few minutes. It does add eight ounces to the rifle, so it does add that weight just out front slightly, so it slightly changes the balance of the rifle, but it definitely gives you that forward length if you like to shoot with your supporting hand way forward. So let's take a closer look at this rail and talk a little bit more about it. The Midwest Industries rail drops straight onto the rifle. All you have to do to install it is remove your bottom rail and remove the barrel slightly. You have to loosen it, pull it out, then this will drop right into place. All the replacement screws come with the rifle. Once it's in place, if you ever want to remove the rail system, you can pull the rail system out and it will come out with the barrel. So all you have to do basically is remove the barrel as you normally would and the rail system will come off the rifle. It doesn't require you to use any extra wrenches or any extra screws to remove it. The SCAR has numbered T-slots across the top here on the receiver. The Midwest Industries rail continues that numbering sequence on its rail here on the top. The SCAR does not have numbered T-slots on the side, however, the Midwest Industries rail does number the slots across the sides as well. The rail system also adds a QD mount on both sides. It's a non-rotational QD mount. So there's one here on this side and there's one on the exact same, si exact same spot on the opposite side of the rail. The rail is made out of 6061 aluminum, has a black anodized hard coat finish. So it's very durable. Again, it weighs eight ounces. It adds that weight mostly to the front of the rifle, but it handles very nicely. It does help to tame the recoil slightly, not that this rifle has a bunch of recoil, but it, it works on both the 5.56 and the 308 SCARS, I believe. Now, this kit costs $199 and it is made in the United States, so it's 100% US made. Another nice feature is that you can still fold your sight up, your front sight up or down, and you can also access the gas port settings. So you can flip it to suppressed or back to normal fire. Also, you can remove your gas plug if you need to for regular service. You don't have to remove the rail or the barrel to get to it. It gives you enough space here in the front to accomplish that. The rail is also available in flat dark earth or the black that you see here. The flat dark earth, most of these scars are like mine, my flat dark earth rifle is pea green. So they've tried to match the flat dark earth tones. I'll post some pictures of that one on my Facebook page later. They've tried to match the color of the stocks, which are typically a beige or a brown. The receivers on the scars will vary. There are four or five different shades of, of flat dark earth that they anodize them. So they've tried to match that color to the stocks of the rifle. Again, I'll post some pictures on the Facebook page later. Let's do a little bit more shooting with the scar with the MI rail in place. I really like the way that this rail works on the SCAR. That extra length really does work for me. I naturally want to grab the rifle right about there, which is just out of the reach of the standard rail. This slightly extended rail feels really, really good. I much prefer it over the stock SCAR. I'm going to pick another one of these rails up for my flat dark earth rifle, and again, I'll show you some pictures of that once I get it. But overall, I'm impressed with the quality, the ease of installation, and the functionality that this rail adds to the SCAR. I think it looks really good on the rifle as well. For $199 from the Midwest Industries website, I will put a link in the description below. I think it's probably one of the better accessories I've found for the SCAR rifles. If you guys have any questions about this rail system, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for those subs. We'll talk to you guys soon.